Hi, hello, my name's Ollie Bliss and this is my channel Book Draw. For those who don't know, I enjoy looking at queer fiction and occasionally I create images out of it. Today I am contributing towards Victober with my own special way. <laughs> I'm not going to do the group read for um, the importance of being earnest because I've actually seen the play more than once and I've watched the film and I feel like I know it quite well already. Uh, however, I do love a bit of Oscar Wilde so I thought I'd do something fun instead. Now I have a picture, a black and white photograph, of both Bosey and Oscar Wilde and I thought it'd be fun to give them a little touch up and see them in the wonderful world of colour instead. <laughs> While I do that I will also share with you some little factoids which I found out on the internet so you can join in and see a little bit more about our queer hero Oscar Wilde. So first fact, you have to start with Oscar Wilde being in prison for his sexuality because this will help explain who um, Bozy was. So Os uh, Oscar Wilde was actually tried for sodomy by the father of his lover, Sir Alfred Douglas, a.k.a. Bozy, at the age of 45. There was a 16 year age difference between the two of them and um, uh, after attempting to sue John Douglas for a libel, Wilde was convicted of sodomy on the 25th of May in 1895. This picture was actually taken two years before that sentencing, so this really reflects who they were at that time of how, uh, when they were actually convicted together. When Oscar Wilde was convicted, he was imprisoned for two years worth of hard labour. During this time, he wrote a letter the Profondis, um, which in Latin means from the depths. And it was, uh, these 50,000 words were all related to his relationship with Bosey, uh, describing his love for him and other thoughts. Like, um, you can actually get a copy of this still today, which is something I'm desperate to do after finding this piece of information out. It was supposed to be sent out from the prison, however it was never allowed, and it was only actually released after his death. And the actual process of getting it put out into a publication has its own kind of saga in itself, but I won't go into that here. But I will add links down below so that you can see more information about that. The impact of the trials themselves was really negative. Um, Oscar Wilde went into bankruptcy, he developed meningitis, and also with Bosey he was forced into exile. The two of them actually met up after he had served his two year sentence, but they only actually stayed together a few months. At the time Oscar Wilde was actually married to um, Constance and she had two sons. There's actually a living relative and his name is Merlin. Oscar Wilde was inspired by his children and he wrote a collection of short fiction which was called The Happy Prince and Other Tales. The collection included such popular titles such as The Happy Prince, The Nightingale and the Rose, and The Selfish Giant. But interestingly enough, um, Oscar Wilde actually only published one novel throughout his lifetime, which was The Picture of Dorian Gray. It was met with critical reviews due to its decadence and homoerotic content. This is something which I did read last year for Victober, and I'll add a link to that video for you as well. But Bosey was also a writer and he edited uh, a journal during his undergraduate called The Spirit Lamp, which apparently carried a lot of homoerotic subtext. He was also a poet and wrote several books of verse. Some of it was classified under the homoerotic a Uranian um, genre, which was a small and clandestine group of male homosexual poets who published works between 1858 um, and the 1930s. Um, most of them were English, but they also had some counterparts in the United States and France. Um, also, the phrase, the love that dare not speak its name, came from Bosey. After Wilde's death, Bosey actually got married to a close friend, Olive Custis, who was a heiress, a poet, and bisexual. Um, they married on the 4th of March, 1902, and together they had a son named Raymond. The most surprising um, fact which I found out about um, Bosey was that he founded a right-wing Catholic and deeply anti-Jewish weekly magazine which was called Plain English. He later admitted that the policy was strongly anti-Semitic, but Bosey actually stepped down as editor on the 67th issue of the magazine. Later on, the magazine would go on to say, we need a 
Ku Klux Klan in this country. But Bosey would go on to create a rival magazine which was called Plain Speech. Through his writing, he recognised that there was a Jewish peril and noted that the Christian charity forbids us to join the wholesale and indiscriminate abuse and vilification of an entire race. He would state that it is not acceptable to shift responsibility onto Jews. Later on in his autobiography, he wrote, I now feel that it is ridiculous to make accusations against Jews, attributing them qualities and methods which are really much more typically English than Jewish. And this is in 1929, so much more before the Second World War commenced. Anyway, just to wrap up with a couple of more fun things about um, Oscar Wilde. Firstly, he was Irish. Secondly, he was also an advocate for the aesthetic movement of the 19th century, which argued that art should exist for art's sake only, without a sort of political agenda. Finally, to let you know, when Oscar Wilde died, he died a Catholic. You can actually visit his grave over in Paris, and when I was there, I was able to give his grave a loving kiss, which you can't actually do anymore. They've got a barrier, because it was eroding the actual... Um, tombstone itself but it is an incredible site if you ever get a chance to go and visit it. I hope you've enjoyed this background information on the pair of them um, and enjoyed me converting this black and white picture into something more colourful. So I hope that was really fun for you guys. I really enjoyed making this video. If you enjoyed my content please give me a like and subscribe because your support really helps my channel grow. Anyway I will see you all again real soon. Okay take care. Bye.